Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are gonna be comparing two cream bronzers because they just look really, really similar to me and they're similar in a lot of aspects. So I thought it would be fun to see if they're actually very similar or very different. So this is going to be the NARS Laguna Cream Bronzer and the Anastasia Beverly Hills Cream Bronzer. So as you can see, they're already very similar looking very similar looking so we're just gonna get into why they're similar what makes them different we're gonna try them on on each side of my face too to see just how similar or different they are so yeah lots of fun stuff before we start please 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 i know i say this a million times in every video but please stop what you're doing give this video a thumbs up for me and subscribe to my channel just really really helps me out helps me keep doing this and I get to keep making videos for you guys. So please make sure to subscribe. But if you wanna see my comparison of these two bronzers, then stay tuned for the rest of the video. Okay guys, so like I just said, they are obviously very similar looking. Like I honestly feel like these are the exact same size. I don't, we'll get into like how much is in each one and everything, but just the packaging is almost identical for the two and they just reminded me a lot of each other so I was like maybe I should compare these two and see just how similar they actually are. So it is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Cream Bronzer in Amber and the Laguna Bronzing Cream from NARS. So I have them both pulled up on the website just so that I can read the details for you guys. Just hear how similar they are in their description, what the prices are in comparison, how much is in each one. So I'm just gonna start reading this and then we are gonna try them both out. So the first one I have pulled up is NARS. It is the NARS Laguna Bronzing Cream. Goes for $38, so pretty standard pricing. And I have the shade Laguna 2, which is like their light medium for neutral undertones my favorite. And the description here says a decadently creamy bronzing formula that is inspired by the best-selling shade Laguna. This creamy formula glides onto skin delivering long-lasting second skin warmth with a natural looking finish. It is scented with NARS's signature French Polynesian Minoy de Tahiti oil, also known to lock in moisture, visibly firm, and visibly tone the complexion. Wow. And then the highlights say that it's a natural finish, long wearing, doesn't have parabens, doesn't have phthalates, and it's a cream formula. And there is 0.67 ounces in this product. And then next up, we have the Anastasia Beverly Hills Cream Bronzer. This one goes for $35, so it's slightly less expensive, like $3 less than the NARS. This has one ounce in it, so it's a little tiny bit less expensive, but there's more product. It's like 0.3 or 0.4 ounces more. So you get more out of this one, even though they look like they have the same amount of product in them. And then I have the shade Amber, which is light to medium with neutral undertones as well. The highlights here say cream formula, fragrance free, without parabens, without phthalates. This one is a matte finish and without sulfates, SLS and SLES. The description says a weightless cream bronzer that warms up skin for sun-kissed dimensional color while also creating contour and sculpted definition. Cream bronzer creates natural warmth melting effortlessly into a matte second, to second skin. I cannot read today, you guys. I am struggling. Bear with me. Seamless finish with comfortable wearability. It grips to skin with a flexible hold that doesn't streak, patch, oxidize, or smudge the complexion layers underneath. It easily builds from soft to bold definition. Honestly, both sound really, really amazing. The main differences, I would say, are that this one is a tiny, tiny bit less expensive, $3 less. It has more product in it. And this one is a matte finish. This one is a natural finish. So you're gonna get a little bit more of like a glowiness to the NARS one than you will with the Anastasia Beverly Hills. But in terms of everything else, like they sound like they're gonna look similar. And I did a really good job of color matching because they sound like they're gonna be exactly the same. 
in that aspect. So I am gonna swatch both on the back of my hand for you guys really quick. So I'm taking NARS first, just swirling my finger in here and just showing you on the back of my hand what this looks like. And then I'm gonna do the same with the Anastasia Beverly Hills. The NARS one, I do wanna say just right off the bat, feels more lightweight. Like it feels more like a butter when you like dip your finger in or like a whipped cream. The Anastasia Beverly Hills one feels more like a mousse, like it's like thicker. So I like the feeling of the NARS one a little bit more, if I'm being honest. And the NARS one to me, looks like it's less warm than the Anastasia Beverly Hills. Like this one definitely looks more warm to me and it looks like it's lighter. Like the NARS one definitely looks like it's darker on the skin. So, so far I'm team NARS just from what I'm seeing and feeling and hearing and everything, but you do get more product with this and it's less expensive and this one doesn't have a smell. It's fragrance free. This one does have a little tiny bit of a smell, which I honestly never noticed, and you can't tell, so barely anything there. But I do like the color and the feel of the NARS one so far more, but I am gonna apply, and then I'll show you guys and give you some thoughts once they're both applied. So I'm gonna do Anastasia Beverly Hills on this side, and I'll do NARS on this side, and then once I've applied, we're gonna talk details. So let's just apply, and I will be right back. Okay, I just applied it to both sides of my face. And to me personally, I have a clear winner for today just immediately. And I'm gonna tell you guys right off the bat that it is the NARS side because I don't know if you're seeing what I'm seeing, but I feel like the NARS side is definitely less warm than the Anastasia side. And I like the more natural look of the NARS side than I do this one. I feel like this one still looks natural and it still looks beautiful and I'm still gonna wear it time and time again. But this one just looks more like a chiseled out, contoured kind of cream bronzer. And this one, it looks a little bit less natural, if you know what I mean. Like it's a little bit, it's more warm. I don't wanna say it's too warm, but it's definitely more so than the NARS side. And I just like the color and the look of this one better. I don't know if you guys are seeing what I'm seeing, but I just feel like it looks more like for me, I guess. I don't know if that makes any sense, but to me, it looks more natural and it the color just goes better with my skin tone. It's like a very, I would say this is more neutral and this is more warm is what I'm trying to get to. So I like that better. Uh, I feel like they both did pretty much the same thing for my pores. I do wanna say that my pores look a little bit less accentuated on this side. Not that either side is, but this side just looks a little bit more smooth. So I did wanna point that out. And even though the Anastasia Beverly Hills side has more product in it, a little goes a long way with this product, more so than with this product. Like I felt like I barely had to dip my sponge into this one to get more than enough product to cover the area that I needed to. With this side, I found that I dipped into the product a couple times or a few times to get the look I wanted, but I really felt like I did a lot less with this side and still got a nice dramatic contoured bronzed up look. So even though this product has less in it, you get more out of it, I guess. Like you're using less product to get the desired look. In terms of everything else, I put blush on top of both and I honestly feel like they're doing pretty much the same thing with other products. Like neither one looks patchy, neither one came off with the blush, nothing like that. So they work well with other products, both of them. Not one more than the other, I guess but they both feel really nice. They don't feel different from each other. 
This one's definitely a little bit thicker than the NARS one, so it's up to you guys what you like more. With that, I like a more like lightweight kind of feel to my products. I like to feel like I'm not wearing makeup. So I'm gonna say NARS on that one, but on the face, they feel really, really similar. Neither one is like sticky or coming off or anything like that. They both feel really nice. They both look really good. But for me and what I like and what I look for, I feel like NARS is a clear winner for me. I knew it as soon as I started applying them. Like once I did this, I was like, ooh, I like that. But then once I put the NARS side on, I was like, yup, that's the winner. I know. So yeah, today's winner is NARS just for all of those reasons I just listed. It's just overall, in my opinion, for my skin tone, for what I like, better for me. So this is definitely my winner. This one I would definitely choose to use first and I'm definitely gonna be using it like crazy. I'm obsessed with this stuff. So this is today's winner, but that is it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I did, I love comparing products to see what's good, what's not good, what's more worth your money, because there's so many good products out there these days. Both of these are very, very good. So it's just fun to see what I think is more worth it, so you're not spending your money on both. So that's it. Comment and let me know what you guys thought, what side you liked more. Just let me know. Give this a big thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel. But stay tuned and I will see you guys in the next video.